What's going on everyone? Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're going to talk about Premiere Pro's newest update, 14.3, and some of the newest files that are supported inside of Adobe Premiere Pro. Now let's get started. Now if you enjoyed this video and you want to see more like it, please subscribe to the channel because I'm constantly creating new content. Premiere Pro just did an update to the software. They've updated to 14.3. And they've also updated a bunch of other apps too. So if you're part of the cloud subscription, check out the other apps because a lot of them have been updated with great features. Now, the one feature I'm gonna focus on in this video is the new file format support. I think a really valuable one that's updated that people can use right now is for the Canon EOS 1DX Mark III. That's a, it's an amazing camera that's out right now, but I do feel like cameras are changing and I think mirrorless cameras are the future. The one that I'm most excited for is the EOS R5. That's a camera that I think is gonna change the game and I think it's gonna become incredibly popular. And I think a lot of people are gonna to switch to. And if not that, I think when the R6 comes out, I think that's gonna be a little more affordable. And I think that's gonna hit the masses. So I think it's really important that they have this setup currently ready to go. So as soon as you get your camera, you're not gonna to have to deal with issues, compatibility issues, file format issues, and you can just start editing and just continue your workflow without a hitch. So I'm really excited about that. And for people that want another tier above that, it also supports the new red Komodo footage which is a RED camera that's coming out that it's a much more affordable camera because RED cameras are extremely expensive, but I think this is gonna break that barrier of kind of prosumer use and cost. So I think that'll become very popular within filmmakers. And it's just nice to know that Adobe's taking steps towards future-proofing problems and making it easier for everybody. So those are the new file formats that are supported within the current update 14.3 that was just released. And I just wanna say thank you for watching. If you enjoy this video, please subscribe to my channel. That being said, have a great day. Later.